Good morning, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. I only have a few minutes before I got to go into work, but I wanted to get this video out real quick because the 60 Minutes interview that came out yesterday is going to be shocking everybody when they get up and really start to think about what it is that the Federal Reserve is attempting to do with their monetary policy strategy. Everybody has been confused by what it is that they are shooting for. They thought it was a 2% target. Look at every single mainstream media article, pretty much every single economist on YouTube. Everybody has been talking about the 2% inflation target that the Federal Reserve is shooting for. Typical monetary policy would have them adjusting interest rates to accommodate a 2% target. If inflation was above that, they would tighten the monetary policy. If it was under it, they would make the policy more accommodating to try and achieve a 2% target. Right? But they have changed that. So when the question was asked of Jerome Powell on 60 Minutes, are you committed to lowering interest rates once you have achieved an inflation of 2.0? And Jerome Powell says, no, that's not what we are saying at all. Right? See, this is the problem with everybody's like understanding of monetary policy. They have completely missed what it is that they are attempting to achieve. It's a 2% average inflation rate over time. They have failed to achieve the 2% target for the previous decade. Prior to the pandemic, they could not find inflation. All the quantitative easing had failed them. Quantitative easing one, two, three, and four failed to achieve the 2% inflation target that the Fed was attempting to achieve. They had run out of monetary policy. They were in desperation. People do not realize this. And trying to achieve a 2% target was a complete failure. So they have moved into a 2% average inflation rate over time. And I, don't, I do not know of anybody who has been more persistent on trying to spread this idea as much as I have. Video after video, research after research, right? This is an economic letter coming from the Bank of San, or the uh, Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco, average inflation targeting in the financial crisis recovery. They were talking about this since January 10th of 2022 on a regular basis. They changed the way that they were conducting themselves back in 2020. Listen to what Jerome Powell had to say from a speech given in it was May of 2020, I believe. Let me go back and just take a quick look just to let you know how far back we are talking here. It was oops, August 27th, 2020. So if you want to do the research on this, the title of this speech is New Economic Changes, Challenges and the Fed's Monetary Policy Review. And in this speech, they have talked about how it is that they are no longer going for a 2% target, but now go for a 2% average inflation rate over time. And now here's the funny thing about it is, is that they do not have any metric to try and figure out what it is that this 2% average inflation rate over time really is. It says this, in seeking to achieve inflation that averages 2% over time, we are not tying ourselves to a particular mathematical formula that defines the average. Wow, isn't that convenient for them? So now all of a sudden everybody has to try and figure out what it is that the Federal Reserve is attempting to do with their monetary policy strategy if they cannot tell you what it is that they have for a mathematical formula to achieve a 2% average inflation rate over time that kind of leaves it arbitrary to the Federal Reserve now, doesn't it? Whenever they choose it, they say, hey man, we have achieved our 2% average inflation rate. No, that's not the case. You see... I have been doing the research on this. People who have been following me on my channel, this is not new information for them. They're all, dude, here you go again with the average inflation rate. But now it's finally come out. People are going to have to start listening. And there's very few economists out there who was taken in this sort of strategy except for me. How many people have persistently done this as much as I have, talking about an average inflation rate over time? And this is why they're, they're adjusting their Fed funds rate in such an unusual manner comparatively to what they had done in the past. See, I don't mean to get that excited, but I've had a lot of coffee and I got to get into work and I know this information needs to get out and I need to get it out quickly, right? Because this video is going to be very time sensitive. As people start to understand what average inflation rate is, this is going to get buried, right? People are going to be like, what? The uneducated economist was talking about this for years and now everybody's going to be flooding the internet with average inflation videos. 
giving their opinion on it, talking about how the strategy has now changed and everything else. Man, this is, this is not new. This has been going on for quite some time. Listen to this. We also made important changes with regard to the price stability side of our mandate. Our long-run goal continues to be an inflation rate of 2%. Our statement emphasizes that our actions to achieve both sides of our dual mandate will be most effective if the long-term inflation expectations remain well anchored at 2%. However, if inflation runs below 2% following economic downturns but never moves above 2% when the economy is strong, then over time inflation will average less than 2%. This is talking about just after the great financial crisis and quantitative easing one, two, three, and four failing to achieve the 2% target. This is exactly what he's talking about. <clears throat> Households and businesses will come to expect this result, meaning that inflation expectations will tend to move lower below our inflation goal and pull realized inflation down. Remember when Dr Donald Trump was screaming, there's no inflation? Right before he left his left office, he was screaming, there's no inflation. To prevent this outcome and the adverse dynamics that could ensue, a new statement indicates that we will seek to achieve, achieve inflation that averages 2% over time. That means there's no more target. That means the 2% target is really irrelevant to them. It's a 2% average inflation rate over time. Therefore, following periods when inflation has been running below 2%, appropriate monetary policy will likely aim to achieve inflation moderately above 2% for some time. Right? They were letting inflation run hot to make up for past shortfalls in inflation. See, this is, this is why I feel so many economists have gotten it wrong. This is when he goes on to say, in seeking achieve inflation that averages 2% over time, we are not tying ourselves to, any, to a particular mathematical formula that defines the average. Thus, our approach could be viewed as flexible form of average inflation targeting. You see, this is, I, I don't know how else to get this information out to you. Right? I do not know what it is that I need to do in order to try and make this more entertaining or more, you know, informative. I have been talking about this for quite some time and I have incorporated this into my strategy and I know that the followers of this of this channel, especially the members who have joined the channel, have really taken this information in for themselves and what Jerome Powell said on 60 Minutes last night did not surprise them whatsoever. They knew this already. This is old news, not new. Right? This is stuff that they have been talking about for quite some time. I mean, you can date this all the way back to monetary policy strategies for a low neutral interest rate world. This is a John Williams speech given November 30th, 2018, talking about one of the one of the ways to fix the problems that they have with inflation is this is to go into average inflation targeting whereby the central bank purposefully aims to achieve above target inflation rate in good times when lower bound is not constrained. Purposefully attempt to achieve above inflation. Right? That's why none of this was surprising me. When I saw that the inflation scenario was taken off and I said, okay, it is transitory because they are doing this on purpose to try and achieve the average inflation rate over time, everybody said I was crazy. And I said, no, it's stated within their own documents. This is the plan, right? Again, like, I am not a fan of the Fed and I'm not trying to promote their, like, you know, achievements or some, something like that. I'm not trying to be that way in any, any fashion. But when people say that they have failed, people talk about, you know, this obscure like strategy that they have. It is stated clearly within their own speeches, with their own documents. I mean, I'm not some high level economist out there who's, you know, achieved some sort of like, you know, degrees in high level like finance and investments and stuff like that i'm just some dude sitting in an explorer pouring through these documents but it is clearly stated and so when jerome powell came out on on 60 minutes and he made those statements talking about how we are going for an inflation that that or uh, an inflation over time that was not a surprise we all know exactly what it is that he was talking about and 
I can't make it any clearer for you guys. I'm going to leave these speeches down in the description for you. You can pour over it. Go back and follow some of my channel, you know, some of the more recent videos I've done. If you go and become a member of the channel, you can go and watch some of the past live streams, member-only live streams that we have done, and you can get some seriously good information out of that. We have done two-hour talks about this particular topic last week. This is not new information, but everybody is going to believe that they have just now changed. They haven't. This has always been their strategy for the last two, three years. Right. Right. Uneducated economist, you guys let me know.